and then I I went to hit up Lightbender and Professor Rack, and we decided to just meet up as a group because it would be easier that way. And then so I walked all the way to the convention center. It was actually pretty far. It was like five blocks. I walked all the way down, and then I just stopped like in in front. So the convention center here, there's like a, a trolley, a rail, I don't know, trains, railroad here, and then um then the rest of the buildings, right? The rest of the city. And so um, I was on the other side where the rest of the city is in front of Lou Mikey's. I think that's the place it was called. It makes it easier, right? Just it's pretty big. They had a big ass sign. I wish I took a picture, but big ass sign. Yeah, so uh Light Bender is the one on the left and Professor Ragna is the one in the middle, and of course it's me. So this is the area that you can see the train stuff in the background, right? Um so we pretty much was in here, uh B Lightbender uh was working at TwitchCon, so then she was pretty busy. So that's why I was like it was pretty hard to like figure out a time. Anyways, <laughs> this this was the entrance of the gas light lamp uh district. So for me, I I don't know. I didn't think too much about initial impressions. I just like yo what went up and be like, yo, what's up, man? Or like hi, yo, how's everyone doing? I mean, I already know what they look like, so it's like I, I'm not <laughs> Like I knew Professor, I had a feeling Professor Ragnar would be taller than me because I'm I'm not that tall, right? But yeah, that that's like the only thing that like stood out to be honest. Uh, so <laughs> we talked about the inside the convention and stuff like that. You're taller than uh, Professor Ragnar, then you're taller than me. <laughs> Lightbender actually got me a bunch of stuff right from the Dev Sisters because I. Uh, I was coming in, I'd be like, oh, they have a Dev Sister. Can you get me some free stuff from the Dev Sister? So she got me like this, this, uh, let me switch. This is the new game that they did in the Dev now, right? It's like the mind block looking thing. And then the sticker sheet. And I just noticed right now that the stickers, there's missing stickers, like right here, missing stickers. This spot missing, there's some missing. I don't know what happened. Maybe when I put it in my car. Uh, it, it, that's what happened. And then obviously this poster, right? It's my first cookie run kingdom, like merch <laughs> the poster. <laughs> yeah. Too bad I didn't go in. They did have, I think they did have a call machine that you can win like the cookie run stuff. Yeah. The BTS one too. So, uh, that, that's what happened. And I, I even though they, they know me and we know each other, I just gave them my business card anyways. <laughs> So after that, we pretty much split up, uh, split up because uh, B actually got to go back to do some work. And then I need, actually need to get to the back to my hotel so I can actually drive to the Korean barbecue. So after that, um, I was walking up, walking out to get a cheaper fare. And apparently it saved me like five bucks just walking, walking a bit out. <laughs> it was great. I just met up with Lightbender and Professor yeah. Ragna. Lightbender gave me this. I appreciate it. Got some cookie run stuff from the Death Sister. I'm just walking. And now I'm walking away from the convention just so I can actually uh, find a nice place for uh, Uber to pick me up and drive me back to my inn. I'm wearing a mask. Uh, so maybe I'll just to... walk a lot. I have like 30 minutes to kill. I might as well do it. Uh... And then... So yeah, I am yeah, actually walking pretty far. I don't even know how far. 30 minutes of walking, save myself some fare. I am four miles away. I think I can walk like one or two. But yeah, this is why my mouth is all muffled. Great. So I pretty much chilled in my hotel. I was pretty heated from like all the walking though. And then, um, then I started driving, right? I got out and then I, that, that's the point where I forgot to take a picture with farm and I'm like, oh shoot, uh, maybe tomorrow, but somehow, okay. So, so spoiler. Somehow during the whole trip, I, there were some people I wanted to meet, but we keep like pushing it off to the next day because the timing just wasn't right. I mean, people are busy. I'm busy. I don't have a freaking ticket, so I can't go in just to find them. Right? So it's whenever they have time to like come out and meet me. <laughs> That'd be great. Right? So, so a lot of that happened. So I didn't get to meet a lot of people that I wanted to meet, but that's okay. There's always next time or whatever. And then, so I got to the BBQ place. Yo, you gotta let me know you going, bro. But um, I got to the BBQ place. It was super packed, right? And it was it was I had to circle around. And at one point, I actually went into the area which was a dead end. <laughs> like this this was the plaza over there. 
Actually, do I have the map? All right, so this is the map, right? So there was a, like a dead end somewhere right here or something, right? Where was the dead end? This is the Korean barbecue. I think this part right here, this road doesn't actually go anywhere. <laughs> this road doesn't go anywhere. So I kind of drove in and I went in here. I was like, ah, goddamn, I got to reverse. Because the BBQ was right here. Yeah, it had golf. It's a golf simulator, to be honest. Yeah, so I did wear, wear a mask most of the time. And then uh, sometimes I didn't wear a mask, like when I'm with the group or whatever. Um, I feel okay so far, but, you know, it takes like a two weeks, right? At least quarantine two weeks. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, it was from uh, the place is called Ole Convoy. And then Hive is the karaoke place. So I didn't actually find parking. Like this, this parking lot was pretty small. And even, I even went through this parking lot and I couldn't even find parking. Um, so when I, when I went through here, I went out and I went all the way around and I went through here just to look for parking and I can't find any in the end, in the end though, I think I drove back up here and I went this way and over here is H mark. So I pretty much just park at H mark and then I walked all the way here. There was a lot of people actually parking H mark and I see, you know, walking across the street. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what happened. Okay. So once I parked there, I walked all the way here, all the way around down. All the way down here. This is where the group was meeting. Since this was a new community for me, right? Um, Mel Melly TV. So once I got here, it was pretty anxiety attack for me. Because then it was like just a, a whole group of people that I didn't meet. Uh, there were about like six of them in there. They Friday happened uh, with this. And then they, they were introducing ourselves. I kind of got everyone's name and I kind of didn't. There was like, I can't remember who was. Super hard. But I did meet them later. Spoiler, I did meet them again later. <laughs> and so once I got there, introduced ourselves. And I usually don't talk much in the first time because I don't want to talk over people. So I just said hello and I just listened in and everything. And then later they decided to just go to the Boba place. I think the Boba place is like right down here. Right? You can see the T icon there. Um, so I was like, yeah, why not? Uh, we're still waiting for people to get there and I'm waiting for our, uh, I think it was not seven yet. It was close to seven, but not seven yet. So we were going over there, um, on the way there, like this way, we got, we stopped by someone's car and apparently they had some edibles. <laughs> Yo, what's up? They had some edibles and <laughs> they were rice crispy and I think brownies or something. Um, uh, and then Jason... One one of the guys just saying he he ate one pretty quick. Yeah, he ate one pretty quick, and then um we just decided to go straight to the bubble place. Um, I don't remember the name of this place. It's kind of cut off here, and I didn't feel like drinking or eating anything though, to be honest, because I want to save some space for all you can eat Korean barbecue, right? All you can eat, and it was hot inside. So uh, after a while, I'll be like, yo, I want to go back to the restaurant. I'll see you guys over there. I was making my way back um i got a message from melly she was like i'm at front of the boba place and uh told me to come back because they were outside <laughs> so i'm like uh okay i'll, I'll mostly i mostly my way back right um there were actually tables outside and chairs and then we sat down um it was just like uh me melly uh bob was there someone else there i think someone else was there i think it was jay was there um I kind of know their name now cause, because uh, I did meet him up, them up again later that I'll, I'll go into later. Um, but I sat down and then she had a shirt for everyone to sign. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like was just talking to people like, yo, you're not going Sunday. Can I borrow your pass so I can go in? That that could happen. That, that was pretty good. So this, she did have a, a, like a white shirt for everyone to sign. And of course, I signed my screen name, right? But with the tilde, I had had a tilde at the at the E. Tilda at the E um, on there. And then more people start showing up. So I think by that time, we started to head back to the venue. Um, we sat down. Let's see. We sat down and then I think we split up to like four tables uh, or four girls. And four, so pretty much four girls. And we all had to pick the same venue type, right? This is part, this is a picture where I took of randomly in the middle of Korean barbecue. <laughs> Uh, I didn't take a picture of it in the beginning, but you should check out the hot pot later. That picture was great. But anyways, 
Uh, the Prime, they had like two menu types. One was like Prime, which is like the 32, which is like the regular all you can eat. And then they have the Premium, which is like $42. Um, personally, I would have went with the Prime, right? But, but we went with Premium. And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't, pop, this is like the Hangout, like the first Hangout ever for me. So Premium, uh, I'm pretty sure someone picked Premium, so we all just went Premium. Just, we just need one person just to say premium, right? <laughs> premium was not actually not that bad. There's some extra items, but they they also have these extra nicer items where you only get two per person. And it was pretty much the premium steak. I think that's what that is. And then the short ribs and the king shrimp. So uh, <laughs> that's what we got. I'm pretty sure our table. So in front of me was G Money and then next to him was... Uh, his brother, and then uh, next to me was Han Solo, and then next to my left was there was no one there. There was there's, there was not no one there, but there was like empty gap, and then obviously the next table, which is the other group. I didn't really talk to him because you know it, it was a wide enough gap, so I just pretty much just hung hung out uh, with my table, and then there was the other table over there. Um, so it, during the the eating, uh, we know. Um, so apparently someone went to the bathroom and it was Jason. You kind of know what happened, right? If you remember the end of back in the story, <laughs> yo, uh, Jay Jason actually was in the bathroom and he was some so out of it, man. Apparently he was out of it. So Han Han, his name is the stream is Han Solo or H O N Solo. Um, he went to check up on him and he he's like he looked under the thing. He was just like apparently he was just like sitting like this, like out of it, cause you know he had an edible. He chugged it down. Yeah, he chugged it down so quick <laughs> that he got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. It was like halfway through the thing. So at the end, um, at the end when we actually went out to eat, um, after done eating, we were just chilling in the front. And he was laying, there was a bench. He was just laying there like, oh, God. And then we were like looking at his hotel like, yo, which hotel is this? Can you tell us which hotel? <laughs> Uh, he didn't. He didn't know, right? Eventually, he called his friend and asked. But um, Han was like looking at the card and then figuring out. It's like with two keys, um, with symbol and stuff, and then I, trying to figure out what hotel is so we can like maybe drive him back in an Uber or something. But uh, eventually, he did have enough energy to walk, and he's like, "No, no, I want to go karaoke." So uh, we went. We walked over to the karaoke place, right? If we go back to the map here. All right, we had we walk from here all the way to here. So at this point, at this point, um, we got there. We actually split up into like two groups. <laughs> like we're while walking, we're like we have the fast group with I'm in, you know, because I I'm a fast walker. I'm a fast walker. I walk from a lot of places back back in the Bay Area, but here, yeah. So we pretty much split up, and then we got there early, and we just chilling because we're waiting for the rest of the group. This took a while, so I'm like, um. We decided to actually go get our cars and bring them closer because there's more parking now. Somehow parking started freeing up now. So I pretty much ran up the, this is actually like a, a slope. So I ran up the hill and then I ran all with the H mark. I got in my car and I drove it here and I just parked it right here. <laughs> so we did have 12 people in the first room. And then later um, we did, we were going to upgrade to another room that, because then we had like a couple more people coming. So the next room was actually a 20 size to fit people. So the first, of course, going to karaoke with a group of people, there's always some anxiety, some nervousness, right? That people don't want to sing first. I volunteer myself. And obviously I picked the easiest song to like karaoke and everyone knows. Backstreet Boys, I want it that way. So that's what I did. I sung it. I think people start loosening up and stuff and they start singing. I actually later put in more songs like, Usually we went around and everyone put a song. Since so no one's putting a song later, like in the middle, I just put three songs in a row. <laughs> and I, I sang all of them. We have two mics though. We have two mics. So so uh, I was singing one and someone else was singing one. Yeah, you are my fire, <laughs> right? The one. I'm not even the best singer, right? I'm not, I don't think I'm that great. So I, I, I mean, I still did it. So um, I did put in songs like Back, Back to One by Brian McKnight. And the other two other songs, I can't seem to remember. I, I don't know why. I just can't seem to remember. 
and then later um the hour was up we switched to the other room um we i did with like another group that came in and they went to that room first we didn't know they were with us yeah i wanna be with you three yeah uh, so we pretty much got to that room and like, oh yeah, the 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 waitress was like, uh, someone's not a good leader. And then it was like, I think we didn't even know they were our group, but later we did. Um, so I was this time I was actually sitting by the door. Um, the door was like right here. I wish I took a picture actually of the door because there was something with the door <laughs> that that was pretty hilarious. Um, so. Um, actually, I was sitting with the door, and then during during while we're waiting for people to like get in, um, we actually didn't. We tried to plan in the numbers like the same way that we did in the other room to add the songs, but it didn't work. So we were trying to like get um, one of the workers to come in and be like, "Yo, it didn't work." Um, and then, as we were just trying to like fiddle around with it, the one of the guys uh, I don't remember his name, but he was like, "Yo, you inspire me, man!" And I was like, "Inspire you for what?" And then he's like, you inspire me to sing. I was like, oh, damn. All right. Yeah, keep it up, man. You're going to sing some more songs? And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I inspire him to sing. So um, once once the worker came in, um, right after that, um, he, he said, yo, you got to use it like a TV remote. You got to point. You got to point to the to the infrared thing. And I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel, we, we felt like, oh, my God, face palm, right? Uh, but yeah, I was like, oh, like a TV remote. Um, but yeah, so like we had, I think three more guys came in and then two more people came in. So five people came in. Uh, one of the guys is actually pretty good vocals, man. Ugh, I forgot what song he said, he said, he sang, but, um, during while we're picking all the songs like, yo, we you got, you got, you got to pick some popping songs or something like that. And this one, um, I sang about like five songs in the other room or something. My, th my throat was like sore, but I sang it anyways. And you know what song I sang? I sang. Bad Day by David Poulter, you know, you had a bad day, you take it one down, that song. Um, I sang that, um, I think that, I don't think I sang much after that. I mean, I, I sung in between, like, I don't have the mic and I'll just sing it. Uh, that's how usually karaoke goes. Um, so in the end, we got, uh, Sarah was the one actually paid for the room. So I ended up paying him back. I think it was like 20 bucks per person or something. We actually stayed there pretty long, um, and I, I don't know why I didn't drink or anything. I can't remember what their songs we sang, or at least what I sang. It was just, it was pretty. I enjoyed the time, right? So I want to do more karaoke. If people next, maybe next time we do more karaoke and stuff, we can probably actually plan it this time. Like they planned it, so I just, I just tagged along. That's that's what happens with me. Uh, I paid in cash, so it was nice. I seen I paid in cash for BBQ too. So, um, I got home around 2 a.m. I was pretty tired. Um, I was too tired to even shower. So I just went into bed. I just pretty much just, uh, changed my sleeping clothes and I went to bed. I had trouble sleeping though. I kept waking up every freaking hour. 